Hi and welcome to my dual RYO VC sequencer and trig expander video. This is just an extension of my full overview video which you can see in the video description. I'll be demonstrating some of the features uh, using two modules with a dual setup to create some new patches. So here I look at the sequencer as a clock divider which is really useful if you don't have a clock divider to hand or you've run out of one mid patch and you're not using the sequencer for anything else. I've got my clock going into the left hand VC sequencer and you can see the clock on the green prototype trig expander. Here's the patch moving on the right side VC sequencer and this is moving pitch and triggering envelopes to move a filter. <laughs> So that's the sequence. If I use the left hand sequencer's output as a clock for the right hand side, depending on what knobs are high, we can move the sequencer and create some clock divisions to affect the rest of the patch. Here I'll be using a dual sequencer setup for a sequence on one and then a transposing sequence moving slower on the other. The right hand VC sequencer is sending an arpeggio style pattern to my quantizer and that's setting my sequence going. My left hand sequencer is moving much slower with a divide by 8 clock so I get 8 steps on the right hand side and then the left hand sequencer will move to the next step every 8 steps on the right hand one. By mixing both these outputs in the RYO vert mix I can send a mix of those two to my quantizer resulting in an arpeggio pattern that also has transposition from the left hand sequencer giving me eight eight step sequences. Moving on to another quick patch, I'm in voltage control mode on the left hand VC sequencer and I'm in normal clocked mode on the right hand sequencer. I'm triggering an envelope and that's moving the left hand sequencer with the envelope's voltage as the input to the sequencer. Every time I trigger that envelope, this is also moving a step on the right hand sequencer and that's sending modulation changes to the mutable instrument's braids which is the sound source in this patch. The envelope that's being triggered is also sending modulation around the patch which is a fairly simple noisy drone style patch. I've also got step 1 on the left hand sequencer's trig expander used to trigger a drum sound which is running through some effects and delays. So I'll play around and just demo this sound a little bit. It's a fairly simple patch but hopefully it demonstrates how with these two units in the RYO lineup it could be the hub of a whole patch in something much more expansive. So here I'm triggering the sequencer at audio rate from a VCO square wave output. Here's a sweep of that VCO's pitch. Using that audio rate into the sequencer we can create some custom pulse and square waves and I've got the output going into a vert mix and then into my sound card. Taking these green stackables and mixing these from the trig expander to clock the second sequencer we can generate some sub octaves based on that original sequence's pitch. So if we take every other clock we'll get an octave down and we can take different clocks to create different divisions and harmonies. So here's both sequences. And then taking a sample and holding to the oscillator providing the audio rate clock, I'll play around and create some custom waves. Thanks for watching the video, I hope it demonstrates some potential uses for the modules and generates some of your own ideas. Check out my full overview video of the RYO VC sequencer and trig expander at the links in the video description. And as always, hit subscribe for more videos coming every week and leave any questions in the comments.